Not sure how to use a sling psychrometer to determine the relative humidity and dew point temperature? If so, stay right here and I'll show you how to properly use that sling psychrometer and look up the relative humidity and dew point data using U.S. Weather Bureau psychrometric charts. Hey everyone, Bill Corbett with KTA here, helping you to choose inspection instruments, guides, kits, and other gear for your next project. Today I'm going to show you how to use sling psychrometer and psychrometric charts to look up the relative humidity and the dew point temperature. To get started, take the cap off and make sure the reservoir is filled with distilled water and verify the wick at the end of the bulb is saturated. Pull the thermometer tube from the body. Now whirl the psychrometer for 15 or 20 seconds and read the wet bulb thermometer. Whirl the instrument again without rewetting the wick for another 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat this process until two consecutive readings of the wet bulb are within one half degree of one another. Then record the wet bulb stable temperature. Now read and record the dry bulb temperature, which is the same as the air temperature. Calculate the difference between the two temperatures. For example, a dry bulb temperature of 75 and a stable wet bulb temperature of 65 is a difference of 10 degrees. Locate the psychrometric chart for relative humidity corresponding to the barometric pressure in the work area. We'll use the 30 inch table. Intersect the air temperature with the difference between the wet and dry bulb temperatures to determine the relative humidity and record that value. Repeat the same process for dew point, but make sure to use the dew point temperature chart of the correct barometric pressure. Compare the temperature of the surface to the temperature of the dew point and verify that the surface is at least five degrees Fahrenheit higher than the dew point before starting to paint. We hope that you found this short instructional video helpful on how to use a sling psychrometer and psychrometric charts to determine ambient conditions prior to painting. If you got value from this video, please give us a like, hit the subscribe button below, ring the bell, and follow us online to be updated about future videos like the one you viewed today. See you next time.